This is Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus, and in today's video I will share the top 5 pro tips and features for this device. So to start, I would like to demonstrate that you can set up the fingerprint unlock feature, so launch settings, then enter the uh, security or password and security category, then tap at the fingerprint unlock option, choose what uh, regular or default method you would like to go alongside with the biometrical fingerprint. So I'll go with the pattern, let's say, then set this additional password or backup screen lock method. After you will uh, well, set it up and confirm, you can start adding the fingerprint. The scanner is located at the side power button, so just continuously lay and lift your fingertip or fingerprint at the scanner until the entire surface of your finger will be well enrolled. So I have successfully added my fingerprint, so let's test it out and see how well it works. As you can see, it doesn't uh, get unlocked from other fingerprints, so it's secure and works relatively fast. The next option uh, is, well, you can find it the display category of settings. It is called the refresh rate, and it is responsible for the smoothness of animations and overall visual silkiness. So two values, 60 hertz and 120 hertz, the higher you go, the smoother uh, the interface and well display gets, but at the same time, at the same time, it comes at the expense of draining more power or simply uh, using more battery. So set whatever value fits your needs best, or you can just set it to be at the default mode, and well, which means that the system will automatically switch between those two values, or well, not those two, but will just automatically switch the value for the display refresh rate. The next feature is uh, the always on display and you can find it at the respective always on display and lock screen category of settings. Uh, in here tap at the always on display in order to enable it activate this toggle. Then you can change the display mode or well not really there is only one uh, that is for it, uh, that is the one that makes it so that the AOD will be shown only for 10 seconds after tapping at the screen. In here you have quite a few themes to choose from and you can always uh, set a custom one upload your custom image if needed and like customize it in a lot of ways i'll set it to be this cute cactus and let's see how uh or what my always on display looks like exactly so i'll tap at the screen and well here it is a very handy thing to have uh so you can check how much battery you have left or what time is it or what date or day of the week week it is it without having to unlock in or enable in the screen so moving on the next uh, cool option is uh, well as you can see our home screens they do have the minus first so this is the main one and if i'll scroll it to the right uh, i'll be forwarded to the google discovery page but you can change it to be some something other than that by going into settings home screen and in here you should see the one minus one screen so the options you can choose is to set it to be the app vault instead of a google discover page or well google feed and here how the app vault looks or you can just completely disable the minus first screen and make it so that well the main uh, the main screen, the main home screen that you have, or the first home screen is, well, actually the first one. Already, moving on, the final tip that I have uh, is the performance-based one. You can go, uh, in order to access it, you will need to go uh, for the additional settings category, then memory extension, and as you could have already guessed, this feature allows you to uh, add uh, or increase the random access memory on your device, thus... Uh, improving the performance and allowing you to use more apps simultaneously without uh, your system uh, freaking out or slowing down. So uh, usually it is uh, set at the off value, which means that this feature is disabled. Uh, but if you would like to enable it, just tap at the amount of gigabytes you would like to extend your random access memory for and reboot the device in order for those changes to be applied or take effect. And after your system gets restarted, you'll get additional gigabytes of RAM, as well as, obviously, consequential performance boost. Alrighty, so that will be not only for this, uh, for the final tip, but for this video in general. 
We highly appreciate your attention. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.